Good morning, students. Subscribe to Sima Bhavishya's channel. From my way, I am here and I welcome all of you. Today, for standard time, we will study history, sources of history, first chapter. There are various sources of history. One among them is written sources. When we study about history, we have to understand that history begins with and when it begins, so today, though we are in 2020, it has its long sense. History is in two parts. One is prehistoric period, second is historic period. Prehistoric period, prehistoric style is that when only verbal language was used. At the most oral or certain or means certain things that were during the past. are put as an evidence but the historic period starts with when man discovered the script now this is when man discovered the script and he started writing hence history is here so history as a written source we have various sources of history these are some among them apart from that there are many we all know about newspapers. There are various newspapers in India. One, some of the newspapers are too old, that is more than 100 years. Now, definitely during the British rule, when Kolkata was the capital of East India Company in India, the first newspaper started for the British officers. It was known as Bengal Gazette. The Gazette itself means the government gazette, even today the word is used. It means that the authentic or the original documentation orders by the government's office. So naturally, in the newspaper sector, when in Bengal, the East India Company's office was working for the officers throughout India, the Bengal Gazette used to provide information. Slowly, with the printing press, it entered into various uh, sectors and then even the Indians started some of the newspapers. We have mentioned some of the examples for for example, the Kesri, the Maratha, even today, if we want to carry on with it, in Akola, we have the Hikwat. It is one of the newspaper which is near about 100 years old. And these newspaper provide us information about the national struggle for freedom or the independence struggle, as we call it, during the 1900 onwards, afterwards, 1914 onwards, the First World War, 1940s, the Second World War, even today when we speak about the world calamity as a corona impact or effect, we get many of the informations that are really from the newspapers. Newspapers gives us photographs, newspapers gives us information, newspapers also provide articles on a specific subject which gives us additional information or gives us an idea to think about it the that way. Apart from that, we have the diaries. Diaries definitely, if we are studying history, then yes, historical diaries and historical diaries are reflected in the name of uh, Pandit Jamala Nehru or even uh, Mahatma Gandhi, Vinayak Damodar Savarkar, Lokmanya Tilak, though they have not written exactly the books, all of them, but whatever they have contained or their contents in the name of letters, in the name of the diaries, in the name of whatever the writing they have done, provides us an in-depth and realistic information related to the diaries. We have also one the best example about the diary of the Anne Frank students. You must have read this name or the diary, which is one of the best booksellers in the world. She was a victim of Nazi forces during the Second World War. And whatever, a child of just 14 to 16 years, she has written is today one of the best documents. After that, we have the documents in archives. What exactly archive means? Archive means the original documents. Original documents or articles that are preserved and demonstrated for the students of history. So naturally, 
this is one one of the most important criteria what exactly archive means keep it in mind there is a difference between archives and museum in museum we have many sources or many replicas that can be put but in archive the original ones are demonstrated once the original one is lost it is lost forever that is why each and every document each and every paper documents means papers whatever they are are preserved there government takes utmost care so that this should be for the next generation one of the largest archives in asia is the national archives in new delhi that is from india and also the state has its own archives today we also have the archives in pune that is related to the hindi film or the film society of india so naturally all the films are preserved there for the coming generation apart from that we also know about the gazettes government gazettes when we study about the government gazettes we know that government has to issue orders government have to give many of the informations in day to day life every day thousands of papers are to be put to test and these papers are the authentic orders of the government because they belongs to the government or they represents the governments they have the utmost importance this importance is always reflected and it is in the name of the letter the letters are reflected in reference to and according to the subject wise they are being published but it is one of the most important as we study about the government gazettes we also must come to know that each and every letter of the government not only the letter whatever the orders they want to issue once we get them in a written format no one can change them then many of the students must be having the hobby to collect stamps many of the students must be having the hobby to collect the uh, covering page of the match box or even the uh, colorful marbles or the tables we can collect and it is one that reveals the history in itself it is said that postal stamps never says anything about itself this is true but postal postage stamps are being published with a specific reason and the reasons they must have may be a monument or a building completes hundreds of year which have its utmost importance in the freedom struggle of india definitely it will be reflected for example chhatrapati shivaji maharaj terminus one of the marvels or the building architect of indo gothic gothic means the european british style which stands in mumbai is a pride of the world over for indians is being depicted on the postage stamp apart from that we also have many postage stamps for example mahatma gandhi for example many of the other person not only the political person but also apart from that the social workers even the flowers even the flowers the animals that are some of the rare species of india or some of the most important in terms of india are sent here apart from that we also know that there is an encyclopedia encyclopedia also is a written source of history it is just because it gives us in depth information from the origin of the world till today how the meaning goes on changing the world may be having its own original sense whatever it was in the older period slowly it started to shift and it shifted till today in a various format definitely language is a major part which how according to the time it being subtle slowly shifted from one angle or one meaning to another that is also because of the use of the people then when we move to the specific section that is the newspapers newspapers are of various types newspapers different newspapers according to the language according to the language we find newspapers all over india apart from that we also have the newspapers that are being uh, related to certain political parties we also have the newspaper that do not represent any political party but give us the original information as it is definitely man as a person has his own ideas and accordingly he she or we have our own ideas that we put to test with the newspaper but that is not the case newspapers gives us the historical important 
in terms of written match because it can be preserved for more than 100 years. Today we have, for example, after a span of 100 years, Hitwan published its magazine of 100 years, a century, which gave each year only one, either an article or photograph or whatever they thought, the publishers of the Hitwan thought it important and it was published. It has become one of the rare specimen copy of Hitwan. Same is about government of India's documents. So, the in 2000, in 2000, the Information and Broadcasting Ministry of India published one of its uh, booklet which gives us information in related to all subjects to the nation. How slowly the nation in the beginning started from 1950 onwards till today. The development of the nation in each and every field, may it be sports, may it be entertainment, may it be uh, even the educational scenario. Slowly, slowly, each and every sector was encompassed in terms of industrialization, technological development and today as we are here, it is not a one day scenario, it is not a one day case. The development has its own struggles, ifs and nots and slowly we overcome it which is reflected by the information and broadcasting ministers, uh, the department of the government which published that booklet. So definitely even today it is available on the net. Because of all these things, we come to know that how how it all works. A apart from that, we this year we have to study history from 1961 to 2014. Now this is the period students. We have to understand that all the parents, near about all our parents, were alive to this year. You may not know your birth and or the age factor, just about 14 to 15 years. But the parents we have, and they are all the means these people have the proof, the evidence of whatever the history we have going through. Exactly what is history? Today's life, tomorrow can be converted into history. This is one of the most important aspects that we have to understand. The people who were born after 1950s are the people who have all these things or all these changing trends as they themselves one part of it. Many of the parents or many of the elder persons are being able to tell you how poster stamps reflected the history or how they change. Poster stamps in terms of color, in terms of uh, publishing the photographs, in terms of size, shape and even the money. 15 paise postcard or 25 paise postcard is not a gone day enough. Definitely, as time changes on, it all represents how the nation is changing, how the world is changing and even today, the drastic changes that we are going through in terms of technological impacts of education, e-learning as we call it, is also an example of sources of history. Coming days, the students, as it will be in future, will have to note that there was a time which reflected in the history as a corona impact, we have all the written sources of corona. Now, here is one thing, just one example that we will have to carry on. As a part of history learners or as a part of the students of history, here is a small impact that you will have to understand. And it is the newspapers is one of the most authentic, reliable source of documentation in history. We have each of you must be having one or the other newspaper. If not, definitely on the if you subscribe to the e channels of the newspapers, you will get the information. And now related to our own city, that is Akuna. Related to only Akuna may either related to sports or Corona patients or as you wish, whatever the title you want, whatever the title you want, but choose one thing and make a small diary of your own, whatever the information you get from the newspapers or the various sources, make a small diary and mention it. I at least take 15 to 20 days. The story should be 
story or your views should be of 15 to 20 days and you can understand the meaning of the diary because whatever you are writing maybe 100 percent it will not be true maybe you will have to add it you will have to adjust it but try to make it yourself this is also a source of writing history or when we try to learn history we also will have to understand history and whatever we are getting the rumors as we call it the real facts as we call it or the information that is being published into various newspapers related to Akola you will have to make use of one of the subtopics whatever you wish it and make a story or an information chart that will be helpful for you to understand the sources of history this is what we studied only the written sources these are not only the written sources there are many but some among them as reflected in our books we have studied this apart from that there are various parts also related to newspaper when we say that newspapers give us information who are the sources who provide the info, uh, who provides information to us in india one of the sources is pti that is press trust of india so this is PTI. Now this PTI gives us information which is one of the most important uh, center of providing information to the Indians. It was established in 1953. Keep it in mind for the Indians to get the information. 1953 the information sources on primary details of all important events or the articles was slowly supplemented or provided by Prestress of India. It's an organization all over India now throughout the world related to Indian newspaper sections. These newspaper sections get their articles online, gets their news, photographs all over the world and then they publish it into their own newspapers. It is one of the most authentic, important and daily use content of Indian newspapers. You can also get more information related to PTI from the various sources as we are studying it online. Because of all these things, today the daily material as we get it, it is now a technological benefit that because of the satellite, uh, the India has launched, launched with due to various scenarios or the changing trends, India is also now uh, an information giant in the world scenario because of a special satellite that is being attributed for the uh, mispressors of India or the information and these all things provides us a easy access one of the easy access all over the world to get whatever the information we are getting after that then we have also to shift towards the electronic media this is definitely newspapers are the authentic sources of the written, uh, written scenarios of the history but apart from that there are various channels we have to understand that all the newspapers do not provide one and the same information but the event is same even though the event is same similarly or even on the tv channels though they are providing us the news do not provide one and the same news in the same content or context context so naturally we have to adjust ourselves we have to develop ourselves and this is how we can slowly develop you choose whatever you want related to the patients that were the patients of Apollo, whatever the sports because the age itself is for the games and sports or whatever as you wish. During this period there are many other sources. The students who are moving or the children or the youth of Apollo who are moving on the roads and how police is taking actions against them. There are many photographs that are being published in the newspaper. Definitely you can make an article or a story on such users. So this is what I am suggesting. Apart from that, you yourself can make it. Hope you understood today's first part of our chapter that is related to the written sources. Definitely, written sources today we studied about the written sources, the newspaper particularly, and then the press of India. Whatever this is, if you try to understand it and go through the work that is being allotted to you, definitely the beginning will be the best part. Thank you. Thank you for my good classes.